Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. I'm on vacation. I'm going to show you this place, at least a little bit of this place. Really cool. It's called Pirate's Cove. Here it's family, but I want to do this video. Uh, I got something really cool sent to me, and yeah, they just reached out and asked me if I want to take a look at this. A little something different than we normally see, and but I think it's something that we ought to look at. So let's open up the boxes. All right, so as you can see, and also from the title, I'm sure, the video, <laughs> that we have an EcoFlow here. But we just don't have this EcoFlow. It's kind of a small, compact, portable unit. But we also have this box, nondescript. We'll find out what that is. And this big box, I think you might guess what that is. And uh, we have a little box here. Should just start with that one. What I'll do is I'll hook it up. I have lithium batteries, so, all right, that's the charge cable, which I kind of expected. Here, let me show you this thing. And so here we go. This is a charge cable. Not sure how long it is. Uh, all right, man. This looks like something we can work with here. Okay, got a red and black connection. And this, so. I think what we're going to see is this is going to plug into the solar panel, and this is going to plug into our, our unit here. Let's check it out. All right, so let's just open up this main unit here. I'm kind of excited to see this. Wow. Pretty stiff, hard box, and it's a box within a box, which you could kind of imagine. Okay, so it looks to me very nice packaging. You know what it seems like to me? And you got the uh, battery cautionary things. But you know what? It kind of has that Apple feel, right? We'll see. So that's what the box looks like. So here we go. It's a River 2. We'll find out what a River 2 is. Well, you can kind of see from the picture there. We have some AC sockets. On off switch for that. Uh, that looks like the cigarette lighter with the DC on off, the USB A and the USB A here, and USB C in the middle. Let's check it out. You know what? Let's open up the other boxes before we pull this guy out of here, okay? They have this EcoFlow tape, which is pretty strong tape. Oh, another box in a box. God, it looks like the same thing. All right. A little confused now. Are they both the same unit? Huh. That's interesting. All right. Not sure. I'm going to do it this way. We'll, we'll open this box in just a moment, okay? Um, let's bring the camera in a little tighter. All right, guys. So, check out this piece of foam. We have a little quick start guide. I'll take a look at this thing. And we have a unit here. And it is small and compact and portable. Just handle here, carry it around. Wow. So this one is meant for applications where maybe you're just going to uh, let's see if it turns on. There we go. And 30%. Uh, the understanding is that you have to have no more than 30% uh, charge when you're shipping these lithium batteries. Uh, I'm not sure if this size of battery would, you know, fall in that category, but it looks like just by, it, maybe it does, maybe they just by uh, categorically, you know, they just do it that way. Okay, that looks pretty cool display. Just the back of the unit. We got a fan, uh, AC power port, and that's that port where we can plug the solar panel into. All right, pretty darn cool. Okay, I wanted to show you the quick start guide just real quick. There's getting started, but there's a little thing here we can scan that in to get the app. So I want to check out the app. That's going to be pretty neat. And our display kind of tells you all the functionality of the display and what each segment does. 
You got remaining battery percentage here, state of charge, and remaining charge discharge time right here. You got Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth connectivity right here. That's that's for that app. Wi-Fi status, so you can hook to Wi-Fi. Okay, that's interesting. AC outlet, 60 hertz. Uh, fan indicator, fan. At 60 hertz, I'm sure that'd be 50 hertz, depending on where you are. Low temperature warning. Overload warning right here. There's a temperature thing for the temperature guy and output power So right here, so high temperature warning up here another temperature gauge They put the high on top the low on bottom that makes sense right input power so Okay, and here's uh, how to charge different ways to charge it USB C charging AC charging solar charging and car charging Here's a troubleshooting guide. That looks pretty nice. Important safety instructions. Now, these are always great to read, especially when you get a new type of electronic device that you're not used to. Um, for instance, it comes to grounding instructions, which is, you know, they break that away as a separate thing. Basically what they're saying, because this has an AC ground plug right here, that ground right there, that when you plug in, when you plug in this ground power cable, it has a ground connection right here, and that is uh, necessary to get, have, uh, to get the proper safety in grounding it to the wall. Since, you know, if you have a device that has a problem, it has to come to this ground connection to open up your breaker, right? And here's your AC charging plug. So it looks like we got it, or the, here, this is a car charging plug. So it looks like we got that, that, and the battery and the battery charging plug. All right, so it looks like we have all three ways to charge. We have our power cable, our car battery, and our solar charger, which this guy looks pretty long. So, uh, okay, I think it's a decent size for the size of this guy. So, all right, looking interesting. There we go. Let's find out what's in this other box. All right, guys, so just showing the rest of this, the specification on this side, 265 watt hours, okay? 20 amp hours, 12.8 volts. So that's your capacity. Uh, it has a net weight of approximately 7.8 pounds. Dimensions 9.6 by 8.5 by 5.7 inches. And this model is the EFR 600. So output input ports, here's your AC, your DC, USB-C, USB-A, your DC port, and the AC port. And battery info, look at this, this is a LiPo. That is pretty awesome. In a small unit like this, you'd almost think that it'd be the NMH type, but it's a LiPo part. So you get a lot more cycles and, you know, they're safe for batteries too, right? So, and then here's the storage maintenance. What's in the box? All right, guys, this is pretty cool. Now, I'm just curious, what the heck is in this box? I, the box was kind of not labeled. So, we'll find out. And by the way, these things are, this tape they use is pretty darn strong. Yeah, the, uh, the packaging kind of, is Apple-esque, if you know what I mean. You know, just, what the heck? Did they, I wonder if they sent me two units by mistake. Turn both on. They both look exactly the same. I was wondering if one, there is a model that has the Wi-Fi and there's, I think there's a model with or without the Wi-Fi. So, holy cow. Man, they're nice to me. They gave me two units, it looks like. Okay, again, charging AC, car battery, or, you know, the cigarette lighter and the solar. And they sit on top of each other, nice. I'm going to, uh, geez. Oh, here, now that I have the box open, I can look to see if it's the same. Yeah, it's the same model number. Wow, thanks, EqualFlow. Um, 
wow, that's pretty crazy. Uh, yeah, you know, they offered to pay me to, to uh, well, they asked me, you know, how much I wanted that to do a review, and I said, uh, nothing. <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to take money from them on a device, you know, that's unfamiliar with me that I, uh, and I'm new to the company and all that, so I thought, hey, it'd be awesome to be sponsored. Looking forward to being sponsored someday. But this was given to me for free, and so technically on YouTube, I have to show that it's sponsored video, even though it's not. They don't pay me anything. They don't ask me to, you know, I don't have to say anything or anything like that. They wanted me to put some links down, which I do anyway, so no big deal there. Um, yeah, so I, I'm gonna put links down below for EcoFlow. I'm not affiliated, don't get any discounts, don't, nothing like that. And honestly, guys, uh, this is just box opening for this video, I think. Uh, but I'm gonna charge it too. And I'm gonna see how this solar panel works. Okay, so again, packaging. This seems fairly heavy. Um, I don't know what the weight of this is, but I. I thought, man, is this just solar panels? Because it feels heavy. Oh, another box in a box. Yeah, but it's a 160 watt solar panel, guys. So that's what that looks like. That's what the box looks like. <laughs> All right, let's open this up. Uh, Okay, open circuit voltage, 21.4 volts. 18.2 uh, when it's loaded. Short circuit is 9.6 uh, amps. And uh, typically it should be 8.8 .8 amps for the 18.2 volts. Efficiency is 21, 22%. It's a monocrystalline, so it's mono versus the poly, it looks like shattered glass to me. The models look like just a dark piece of glass. And the model is EF Flex-160. Connector type is the MC4 that we saw before. Sorry, didn't mention the name of the connector. Okay. So as I open the box, we have uh, something Interesting there, not sure what that is yet. Pat, so look at this. Wow, that is a pretty fancy case. Holy cow. Wow, that I. Wow, that is just a case, actually. Hold on a sec, guys. Look at this. That's just a nice padded case. Wow. I thought that. Yeah, it's got a. So this case has a stiff back on it. it has a couple loops here. All right, it zips all the way down. That's what it had me going. Yeah, this is interesting. Uh, a couple loops of top, stiff case. I'm wondering if, if that is a case also used for uh, holding the thing up at some angle. All right, so EcoFlow, nice cloth material. Um, it says 160 watt solar panel. You got your cord here, your mating cord for the other cable I have. And the back, EcoFlow with the nameplate with all the uh, power stuff I just read off to you. And there's your monocrystalline. See how dark it is? Just looks black, right? Holy smokes. Wow, holy cow, I didn't expect this. That's like four panels, 160 watts. I thought it was gonna be like a two panel thing you fold open, but four panels. And you see the ringlets on the corners here and in the middle and on the corners up here. 
So that's how you can hang it or, yeah, use it for whatever you need to. But this thing is thick. Like these hinges, this thing is pretty heavy. But, yeah. So, there we go. Woo! All right, there's our solar panel, our cable, our units. Let's charge them. <laughs> now, it's a pretty cloudy day here. I'm in Nevada, by the way. United States, Nevada, Las Vegas, about half an hour, 40 minutes that way. Uh, Lake Mead over here. We have Hoover Dam over here. I'll, sh I'll show you the Hoover Dam real quick, just you know, from this angle, okay? I'll show you the lake too. You can see the water level, how far it's dropped. But yeah, it's kind of shaded. So I'm not sure how much uh, charging power I'm gonna get. And it's also getting late in the day. But we'll go ahead and start charging it. I'm gonna show you the length of this cable. So I'm six foot and my wingspan's about six foot. So there's six. Looks like a good 12 foot. Okay. There's our connector. And uh, we auto power down. You know, I had the displays on. They were on just a moment ago. I look over and they're off. So that's good. Um, solar powered units. You want to conserve as much power as you can. So you want high efficiency. So we're going to check that. And. Uh, having the DC the switch for turn on and off that port or on and off these two ports for AC. What I would guess off the cuff is that by turning that off, it saves some electricity that would normally use some drainage that would happen if uh, you couldn't turn it off. So probably turns off some circuitry, helps conserve some power. As soon as I hit that button, the power came back on. So it's just a sleek mode. So this place still sleek. What do you know? It's still 30%. I haven't used anything. So, all right, guys, I'm going to show you around a little bit, and then I'm going to hook this up and show you what, what it's looking like, okay? Hey, before I do that, I took off this uh, this little thing that was, oh, I see what it is. Uh, this was on that box, taped on the back of the box. You know what it is? It's, I'll show you. It's four carabiners, you know, things you can use to hook this up to hang it off of something. So if you're at a campsite, something like that, you can hang it, put a, you know, string cord across two trees or something like that, and use these little carabiner things to just loop in like that, okay? So that's what those are. That's pretty cool. All right, let's get set up, guys. Okay, guys, there is a view of a pirate's cabin. It's kind of showing you around a little bit. Oh my, look at this, a pirate. There's our pirate. That's a heck of a teeter-totter, right? That's pretty tall. That's a big teeter-totter, guys. <laughs> Look, we have some stones for ballast. Pretty neat, huh? Let's walk down the end of here. I was at a wedding here once, my brother's. All right, guys, just past this pirate in the background there is the dam right over there, right past that casino. All right, there's Lake Mead, guys. All right, guys, look at my box opening, and let's scan back, and there's the pool, Pirate's Cabin, and look at this 
wonderful stuff here. Pretty crazy place. There's another pool over there, and those are a lot of diving platforms and all kinds of fun. There's a slide going on inside that boat. And there's an upper house with a swimming pool up there. And guys, uh, just past there, Right up here, there's another swimming pool of salt water. It's really fun. All right, guys, that mast up there is the top. That's the uh, crow's nest that you could jump off of that into the swimming pool down below. And we can't quite see it because it's right down past all that stuff. But just want to show you this angle. This this is a very unique, cool place. Oh look, there's a pirate here I'm taking a look at the lake. Alright guys, so what I did is I have the hooks on this and the hooks back here, and I'll show you how that works. Let's just glide the camera back here. All right, so does that make sense? You got the hooks up here. I got the stiff one up here supporting that. I don't know if, which way, actually, I'll have to read it better, but I got the two hooks down here on the straps. See, there's straps right here. So, yeah, that holds that. That's one, one of the ways you can use this. I'll have to show you a couple of other ways you can use it. But then we come over here. All right, guys, so... Yeah, these connectors, you, you can't really hook them up wrong because um, they put this, you know, this female one, this red one had this female side, and the male has this side. And so, yeah, you can't help but plug it in the right way. And then, uh, yeah, so there you go. And disconnect it just like that. You know, it's interesting. I didn't see the little disconnects on this one. Huh, that's interesting. Okay, so let's take this guy and spin it around so we can see if it's charging. All right. Okay, so this is a good example of showing that you actually have to have sun power. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm just kind of playing around and... I went to power it off, and it is off, but here, let me show you something. See that? It says off, but then it stays on. I think it's because it's charging, so it wants to show you what's happening. But there's really no charge. You can see everything's zero right now. It's saying 99 hours to charge based on this sun, which you can tell I'm not casting shadows. You look at the cables down here on the table there's no shadows we're in the shade so it is four o'clock in the day the sun is already behind the mountain and so here i'll just kind of show you that so that's where the sun's dropping right there and you can see that it is pretty dark so no charging we'll come back and uh when the sun's up and we'll do the rest of this video. Hey guys, here's the EcoFlow uh, setup with solar. There's my shadow. So you can see the angle of the panels aren't just perfect. So you can see we're charging at just over three amps with the panels kind of sitting at a 90 degree angle of the sun. So if I just push this one panel out and you can see how it raises quite a bit, 3.7 amps. And I drop this one panel back down flat and we're at three amps. So let's turn the panels so that we get more sun. Even at this bad angle, we're charging at 50 amps. See that after I've pushed just a single panel out, it goes up to about 68 watts. We have had quite a bit of snow. You can see the icicles forming okay, there. Okay guys, now that I've moved the panel, we're getting about 5.6 amps. 
and you can see they're still kind of shaded a little bit but over here we're getting about 100 we're getting about 107 watts I think we're 20% charged is what it looks like. We do have quite a bit of trees, so that's why we have the shade. Very nice EcoFlow bag. So I'd like to show you a little bit more of this bag. This one side is very rigid, and then it's soft inside. Soft cover here. And there's the hoops you can use to, uh, with the little hooks on top. And with those uh, hooks on the top and bottom, you can use that with this cover to hold up the panel. Hey guys, if you're out in the yard and you're, you know, I got electric powered uh, blower, but it also vacuums. I like to vacuum up all these leaves. These trees, well, it's the weather, it, there's snow coming in. So I, I want to try to vacuum up this stuff before it snows. And I got electric powered one because they're more powerful, but it's really hard to reach you know all corners of my yard so if I can use say so guys if I could use something like this little EcoFlow I could put in the backpack with a little extension cord maybe a little short one like this and then it'd make life a lot easier I could move around without worrying about the cord and all that so let's power this on and see if it'll power Luckily, this EcoFlow has both inputs, the one without the ground and the one with the ground. All right, so technically, with the ground plug, you're supposed to use an AC charger to be charging it so that you have a safety ground on this going back. But, yeah, I mean, I think that's technicality. So we're going to go ahead and power on the AC port. And let's see if this thing will start up. I have not tried this yet, <laughs> so uh, if you see the video, it worked. All right, that seemed to work. Uh, when I went to high speed, it kind of shut down, so I'm going to look at the power here and turn it back on. All right. Uh, that switch went off, so I wonder if that's a protection feature. That's 300 watts. And then when I turned it to high speed, I saw 500 watts come up momentarily, and then it does turn off the light and cycles it off for protection. So it does look like it'll work in lower speed though. It does seem like it struggles a little bit though. So I don't know if I fully charge it, if it would be better. But yeah, once it actually wants uh, 12 amps to run at high power. <laughs> yeah, so this guy's a, a beast. He's pretty powerful. So that's over a thousand watts. That's well above what this is. So, uh, but a low power, it kind of worked. But even a low power, I don't know if it was working as you know as high volume as low power usually does all right guys i just thought i'd show you a nice close-up of the display you can turn it on like that and i've only got six percent of the battery left and this power drain 99 hours because there's no power drain <laughs> but i could turn on and off the dc or the ac so you know what what I want to do is, I was sitting here at the bench working on my amplifier, and I drilled some stuff, for, and I needed to vacuum it. And I pulled out this little car vac, this little small thing, my wife's car vac actually, 
and it had a DC plug. I was like, oh shoot. And then I realized I had this sitting here at the bench. So I thought, well, heck, I can try that out. So. <laughs> So you can see it jumped up to 70 watts and 6%. Now watch this. It'll tell you how much at uh, that power, it'll tell you how much times it can run. So yeah, so it thought it could run 12 hours at that power, 60 watts. But the other thing I want to show you is, you know, so what if you're not solar charging, right? And you just want to bring it in the house, charge it up with your AC plug, okay? So on the back here, you've got your solar input, but you also have your AC plug and the fan, of course, back here. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and plug it in. When I do, I'm going to flip it over so we can watch the front. Okay, it's going to realize it has some AC power here and it says, oh, okay, let's start charging. And so it's up to 200, well, it jumped up to 230, now it's back down to 170. And it looks like it's going to charge at 170, 172. So we went from 6% to 7% already. And it looks like this means a little fans on, I think. It's not on very strong. I just barely, I might feel, I'm not even sure. And it says we're going to take two hours to charge at this rate, okay? So there you go. And I think you can turn off the display if you don't mean to stand around and watch it. Okay, I hit the on off over here. I wonder if that's why it turned the display back on. Or maybe it just realizes it's being charged and it wants to show you that. Nope, it's staying off. So it, it probably is because I said, oh, I want to do this. And so either turning it on or off will turn back the display. So you can see your two USB A's, USB C's, so you can charge your phone, you know, that kind of thing. You can charge your laptop, whatever you have with USB C and USB-A, um, so yeah, there you go. Now it's only been a few minutes and it went back to one hour. It must have been on the brink of one or two hours uh, because it, does, it only has two digits, so it's gonna say 10 hours or one hour, but it's not gonna say 1.1 hours. So yeah, it went from one hour to two hour and then right back to one hour and 173 watts been holding pretty steady there and we're up to 9%. Hey guys, I thought I'd show you that. Now it only took a few minutes to download. It was pretty quick and easy actually. And I want to show you this. On the input it shows solar, AC, USB-C. And if we go to the output, it shows the different outputs. And you can see the AC light is on on that one. Turn it off. Now, if you look over there, you'll see the DC light turn on. Okay, and I'll turn on the AC back on. All right, and so right now, nothing's happening, right? So let's go ahead and apply a load, okay? Now, I've got a power supply plugged into this, and it's a lab power supply, and, and it's shorted. It's going to put out 6 amps. It's going to put out about 30 watts. Let's see what it does. Just... Okay, so turn it on, and here we go. And look, you see this line right here? And I think that, I don't know if that's a voltage. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, but I just noticed that that line goes on, and then we see 33 watts. So I think that's kind of a graph of our load. And that's kind of interesting. When you hit that, you get that. So you can see it's kind of chilly in the lab, okay? And so now we're running, okay? Now, all right guys, what I want to show you is I've got this little gear here. 
you can hit the gear and then you get all this stuff and I changed the name to Eddie's EcoFlow and device sharing so you can hit this and you can add people to let them monitor or you know control the device if you want and then you have AC charging speed now so you get something like this and you can change it so you know you can charge slower to not that keeps the battery from heating up and maybe it makes the battery last longer right okay and same thing here on the car input you can select these discrete outputs those discrete charging outputs DC mode it's got this auto or solar or car charging okay and what else we got we got this X boost mode now that noise we're hearing is my power, DC power supply over there heating up because it's putting out 33 watts <laughs> but anyway so you got this thing and you can say oh no I, I don't want to discharge all the way to 100% or I don't want to or, or I don't want to charge all the way to 100% I don't want to discharge all the way to zero you can change those things the idea would be maybe to make the battery last longer by not charging discharging full cycles unit timeout never you can select one of these things change that screen timeout five minutes or you can select one of these uh, AC timeout or you can select one of those and look at this there's a firmware upgrade so let's go to firmware upgrade well actually before we go to firmware upgrade I want to show you the specifications see what it comes up with pretty cool information here's those max powers I was talking about Uh, car power outputs 100 watts okay that's this guy right here 100 watts maximum from that uh, 600 watts maximum from AC that's with the X boost but 300 watts nominal power on the AC a total of 468 you get 12 watts off of the USB A's and you get um, 30 or 60 watts off of uh, the USB C okay Okay, let's go to the firmware. All right, it says there's an upgrade, new version. Current versions, only this, and upgrade versions, this. And here's the notice. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, you know what? I'll time this and come back and tell you how long this thing took. All right, actually, as soon as I turn off the filming, it started to jump across the screen. So I think it's going to take less than a minute. It's almost done. See what happens when it hits 100%. I wonder if it goes to another screen by itself or if it just says done. All right, so that looked like it took about two minutes. And that's the new version. Pretty cool. Um, now, there's this little thing up here. Let me hit that. Okay, so it talks about all the changes they've made in these other versions. That's pretty cool. That's good information, right? All right, guys, one thing I want to show you is what they call the UPS function. So let's go ahead and turn on the AC. Okay, and now turn on that power supply, which is shorted. So we're going to see about 33 watts pop up. Oops, I got to short the output. Okay, there we go. Now we should see it come up. And there's that orange line. That's kind of cool. So we're going to have to watch that and see what that's doing. It almost looks like it's graphing the output power. Okay, so there we go. We've got 33 watts going to my power supply over there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I got a power cord uh, plugged into the back of the unit, okay? And we're going to go ahead and charge it. I'm going to turn on the power. And, okay, just heard it click on. Okay, now, I mean, that was my 
power AC power supply. So now, okay, and there we go. So we're 169, 205 watts. All right, cool. 220, it's kind of bounce around, 210. Meanwhile, it's applying 37 volts to this, or 37 watts to this output. Now, what I want to show you is it's applying this power to the output. I'm going to turn off the charging, okay? And when I do that, meanwhile, it's showing us how much charge we have here, right? That's pretty cool. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the AC power supply to the charger, to this, you know, so it'll stop charging. And we're going to see that the output is, uh, is unaffected. It'll keep running the output. Here we go. And yeah, it's, it just stopped charging and the output's still running. No, no effect to the output. So that's pretty nice that you can run an AC output load and charge or discharge your unit without affecting the, your load. Hey guys, so yeah, this is a, a pretty cool unit. Uh, you know, it's pretty compact. I did hear the fan kick on when it was charging uh, from, you know, a low, I had it almost fully discharged and it kicked up to about 250 watts and uh, so for the AC outlet in the back, it'll charge in one hour. From the car port, you know, this uh, cigarette lighter thing, it's three hours, okay? And from the solar panel, it's three to six hours. I think it depends on your solar panel, shading, all that kind of stuff. But I've seen about 107 watts uh, go into it when I was out in kind of a shaded thing with this 160 watt panel that I got with this thing. So that panel is amazing. It's a good uh, pairing with this because even with the shaded panel, I still got 107 watts, which the maximum power is 110 watts solar charge. So 100 watts max here. And so it's kind of interesting. Three hours here, three to six for the solar. And it's uh, five hours through the USB-C. So yeah, I mean, uh, so... To, for a 256 watt hour unit, that means you could, you know, burn 256 watts for one hour is 20 amp hours. So you could take 20 amps for one hour, you know. Uh, so yeah, so if you're doing, you know, 100 watts, you get two and a half hours usage, uh, 50 watts, you know, so you can do the math there. But yeah, it's. Uh, I think the LFP batteries are very interesting in a small portable unit because they don't quite have the density of the NMC type batteries that you know were very common seems like people have been kind of going to the LFPs but you get more cycles and they're safer so I think that's why and for a portable unit that's kind of a nice thing right but anyway um, yeah what do you guys think so uh, enjoying this thing right now and the I think the app is really nice functionality of the unit seems great so yeah having a good time so far all right guys so what do you think EcoFlow, still portable unit nice and easy to carry around you're gonna go camping uh you know, you know i have some ideas when i am doing my weed blower or my thing out the yard i got an electric because they're more powerful but then i have to stretch a extension cord and I, it's kind of hard to reach for some parts of my yard so with this I can carry it out plop it down and do my yard work too <laughs> so I think there's lots of uses you can find with these little portable units but very small you can even put this is even small enough to put in your backpack just carry a nice battery powered unit of camping with you I mean it's not gonna be light gotta look at the weight on it seven pounds right so uh, but if you're just camping, you know, car camping or just hiking a short distance, um, I don't know, you know. Uh, yeah, I think there's lots of uses you can use for this. If you're like me, trying to videotape on a holiday, you need to charge. And if I'm out by the lake, I can use this to uh, charge up my cameras and everything. So, cool. Uh, as far as the packaging 
and the units, I mean, seems like it's well made to me. Uh, has a nice, I, I see an airflow, you know, there's a fan back in, in the back part, and then I see vent all the way around the side. So the air uh, is either pulling through the front and out the back or vice versa. I didn't notice any airflow when I had it on, so I think the fan must turn on once it warms up. All right, so let me know if you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up. Appreciate it. Always helps with YouTube analytics. It helps the channel. Free way to help the channel. Uh, become a patron down below. You can hit the thank you button down below. Uh, yeah, lots of ways to like the channel. The free way is to give it a like and subscribe. But yeah, you guys got some ideas of things you want to see this tested? Let me know. Two thumbs up to my patrons as always. Two thumbs up to EcoFlow for sending this out to me and actually send me two units, which is pretty darn awesome. So, yeah, it might have been a mistake. I have to check with them. But, all right, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.